Okay, so I've been asked to look at a question similar to this one. Uh, we have an arithmetic series, and we know that its first term is 515, so A is 515, and has a common difference of minus 6, so D equals minus 6. The nth term of the series is UN. Given that UK is greater than 0, and UK plus 1 is less than 0, Find the value of sigma of un from n is 1 to k. Now, this last sentence looks very confusing. But what it's saying is that given that at some point this series um, has this value, where it has its last value is positive, and then its next value is negative, because we're taking 6 each time, so we'll have a, a last positive entry and then the next term will be negative. So that's why we're saying that UK is greater than zero, and UK plus one is less than zero. We're then asked to find the value of all of the terms from n is one up to k. So we just want to add up all of the positive terms, and not include any of the negative ones. So I need to find out which term is it that suddenly becomes negative. Okay, which is the last positive term that I'm looking for? So let's write down what we have. We have two formulas. Un is a plus n minus 1d. Okay, that's the nth term of this series. And we can write this down. Um, so we've got un is equal to a plus n minus 1d, so plus n minus 1 times minus 6. So if we simplify this, uh, we're going to get 515 minus 6n plus 6, so we've got 521 minus 6n. Okay? So this is the nth term of the series, which I'm going to want to use. So, I want to find out which is the last term, okay, which is the, well, not the last term ever, but the last positive term. So, at some point, this series is going to reach a zero, or a, a negative element. So, I kind of want to know which, that, which term that is. So, if I put this equal to zero, and solve that then I can find the value of n that will get me to zero, okay? It will probably get me a decimal, unless zero is part of the sequence, which, by all accounts, this is telling me that it isn't. So 521 take away 6n is zero. So 521 over 6 is equal to n. So if I do that on the calculator, 521 divided by 6 is 86.83, so I get uh, n is 86.8, da, 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 da. okay? So, if I look at when n is 86, so u of 86, the 86th term, I'm putting 86 into this equation. So 521 take away 6 lots of 86. So it's six lots. And that's five. And so the next term will subtract six from that and I get minus one. So in other words, k is 86 here. Okay? It's the 86th term, which is the last positive term. Okay. Now the other formula that we have given to us in the formula booklet, is the sum of the first n terms. And that is one half n of 2a plus n minus 1d. Or, you've got the one half n a plus l. Okay? Um, yeah. Now, you can use either of these to do it um, with a 
and D, which we have, and N is uh, 86. Or, because we now know the last term, I could substitute them directly into this one. So, the sum of the first 86 terms is 1 half times 86 times the first term, 515, plus the last term, which is 5. So I throw that into my calculator, times by uh, 520, and I get 2, 2, 3, 6, 0. So this is the sum of the first 86 terms, so all of the positive terms. And by the time you get to the next term, you start subtracting because they go into negative values. So that's how we can solve this problem. This is what I wanted, the sum from 1 to 86 of my nth term.